plaintiff, Anastasia Studstill, is a hairstylist. And she says the defendant, who was one of her clients, portrays a lavish lifestyle on social media. But she turned out to be a fraud. Anastasia's suing her former client for a loan and emotional distress. Defendant Denisha Pollock says she doesn't know where Anastasia is getting her information because everything she posts online is the truth. Denisha refuses to repay Anastasia because she threatened her. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Um, I met Denisha December 2020 when she inquired about getting her hair done. Denisha seems to have a pretty good personality. She always nice. She always has this lavish lifestyle on social media. Um, Denisha drives a Camaro. She's a part of um, a group where they travel all <laughs> across the world doing nice things. Yeah. She um, told me she um, is an LPN. And she also told me she um, has two boys, but I found out she's not an LPN, she's a CNA. She doesn't have custody of her kids. And she makes less money. That's yes. all you're saying about that, right? Yes. Go ahead. And I also... Um, found out, had, how about kids? Did she have two kids? She had two boys. I thought she had custody of them. I felt so bad to find out she didn't. Um, she portrayed, you know, this lifestyle on social media where she's a boss. So, you know, she's doing good things. And me being a stylist, I'm happy for all my clients. If you're excelling in life, you're doing great things. How long has she been a client again? Um, since 2020, J oh, December okay. 2020. Let me get some background on you, ma'am. Um, yes, I did meet her um, in December. She was a stylist. She seemed pretty cool to me. Um, just drama. Um, I do have custody of my kids. Um, I just don't post them on social media. I don't do anything of that of, because of what's going on in the world today. Um, also, I am an LPN. I travel a lot. So the information, I don't know where that came from. Yeah, where did it come from? <laughs> where her best, would know this woman's business. She referred her best friend to me. Her best friend told me, I don't know why she lied to you and told me, um, she told you that she's an LPN. She's, she lies to a lot of people. She don't have custody of her kids or she isn't an LPN. So that was her best What's friend. What's the initials of this best friend? It start with an S. All right, you have a best friend or a very close friend whose name starts with an S? No, her name doesn't start with an S, Your Honor. How do you know it's her? Oh, your best friend's it's my best. name. Yeah. I'm just trying to say maybe it's one of your friends and a close friend. Um, that friend that she's speaking on um, contacted me and told me that Stud Hill was calling her, saying things about me. Does I that person's to... name start with an S? No, it doesn't. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Honor. Uh huh. Said, called, said that. Stud what about? Hill contacted her and stated, made a threat that what she was going to do to me. About what? Yeah, I, I don't know what, whatever she was going to do to me. It's, it's no, in no. the. Why would she want to do something to you? I guess, in regard, I guess in regards to the money that she's saying. Oh, I well, we're not there yet. I was letting you uh, tell me about your relationship mm -hmm. with uh, your hairstylist. All right. And uh, what else do you want to tell me before we get right into it? I also have page one through three where it shows she posting her money on social media. Her, she has a nice car, Hello Kitty car, Camaro. She also... Um, post about um, traveling and making money and that she's a boss. So me feeling like you're a boss, I mean, I, I didn't feel like I could not trust her. And now I see that she's not the person she portrayed to be. So when did you all discuss borrowing money? It was May the 4th, 2021. Okay. The evidence says uh, this is from five days ago. Oh, that's what she posted that five days ago. The, um, All right, so this has nothing to do with what happened before five days ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she may have been broke then, but she may have hit the lotto since then. <laughs> so go ahead. Uh, this doesn't show that she was balling then. Right. It shows that she's been balling as of five days ago. Let me see the Camaro. How long you had the Camaro? It's not a Camaro, Yana. It's a Challenger. All right. Now, it's a difference. Yeah. Big difference. <laughs> See, Janet. Um, this is October of 2020. She had a Challenger. My summer about to be so lit. Make this K 
cash, <laughs> make this cash, and take me some trips. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> this is June, and when she borrowed the money in May, uh huh, she borrowed the money. Borrowed money from you in May. <laughs> and said, I'm about to make this cash and take me some trip. She was planning her vacation while she was borrowing money from you. Yes, Your Honor. Borrow what you want and beg for what you need. <laughs> That's right. So how did the question come up about uh, her borrowing money? Tell me that okay. conversation. Um, Denisha had reached out to me and she was telling me someone owed her, um, someone had held her money while she was on the traveling assignment and that they ended up going to jail and they didn't pay her the money back. And I told Denisha I was in the process of moving and and I asked her how much was it, and she told me 530. So I said, okay, that's not a problem, as long as you pay me back. And stating on page seven, she but told let me, me stop she paid me there. back. You had known her for six months. It just, I have a good heart, and she seems like an honest, upfront person. From what I've known, I had no reason not to believe her. So anybody that comes in the shop that's been coming there for six months, you loan them money? I, I, if, they, if they don't give me no reason not to believe them, Okay, you're good. And you a boss? If you're, you're a boss. Good. <laughs> what were the terms of the loan? Um, that she would pay me back by Friday. She borrowed the money on a Wednesday. And she said she would get it in two days from where? She, um, she, her check, she said that. Why she, couldn't she wait two days then? Why didn't you say, well, you ain't got for two days? Exactly. But she what do you made mean like, exactly? <laughs> Why are you telling that? She, Because she made like that it was an emergency. She didn't want to be she behind. she tell you what the emergency did you say? My she, lights she, are being cut off in two hours. She was on a traveling assignment far away, so she wasn't able to send the money because she was behind on her bills already. So she got but a big... But send the money. Why did, was the, what did she tell you the money was needed for within 48 hours? For her rent. She said, I'm being evicted or I'm going to court or the sheriff is on the way to she, take my, put my things out the house. is very strict. He's a private owner and she really wanted to go ahead and pay her rent because she knows her friend was locked up. All right, and if she waited two days to pay her rent, what would happen? She, go ahead, ma'am. I'll let you know. If that's what you do, then you do what you do. You got to tell me something. You got to tell me you're going to suffer these next 48 hours. Not that it's going to be a slight inconvenience, I'm going to be late on my rent three days, or he's going to charge me a $50 late fee. Well, you got to tell me more than that. That's the only thing that happens when you're behind on your rent. Right. Well, you got to have your rent. So that's up to you, ma'am. That was a mistake, in my opinion. I tell people all the time, whenever folks come to you and say, can I borrow something to the end of the week? Unless you're about to suffer hardship, in those four days, why can't you wait? What will happen if you wait four more days since you say you're going to have it? If they can't give you a right explanation, that means you ain't getting your money back. You can pay this emergency in four days unless that emergency is going to cause you hardship in three or four days. That's game all the way around the world. People run that all the time. I paid in a few days. I pay in two days. I pay tomorrow. People go for the tomorrow game. Tomorrow. Yeah, I'll pay you back tomorrow. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Can I borrow some money? I'll pay it back tomorrow. No, you'll wait until tomorrow. Uh, I'm deviating a little, but I'm trying to give y'all some info. All right. On page, on page 13, she was telling me I'm banking $220 an hour, saying that she's making this amount of money. How much? So I'm $220 an hour. She made her regular rate plus that because she was doing the traveling assignment. So she was like, she didn't have the money right away, but she would have it this yes, week. Yes, weekly pay. Girl, I'm making $220 an hour. You make $220 an hour, man? Yana, it was during, it was for the traveling. They, I just put it all in one. It's for the traveling and everything. Like me traveling, I was in California. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where I was at. And they give you $220 an hour. Yes, I banked out there. Pardon me? I, I have made a lot of money. Well, why would you have to borrow money from anybody and you I make just, that kind of money? Yana, I had just got to California and they were paying me my traveling check that Friday. How many days? There you go, I told you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you couldn't wait. I, my landlord was like really nagging me. He had On, served you, uh, you had went to court? No, he, was, he said he was going to do that. 
I had never been through that, so I didn't know the process. Oh, you never been laid on your rent in your life? No, never. Okay. <laughs> Yet you don't pay this woman her money back. Got it. Three, all right. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Hey, Your Honor, I was you so up there. I was so excited. I said, "Give me the information." So, as you see, I asked her for the information because I want to make that additional to doing hair. So Raise your hand if you want to make two hundred twenty dollars an hour. <laughs> okay. And you don't because that's sixteen hundred a day. Yeah. And nurses work overtime a lot now because it's big demand. So it might be two thousand a day. Multiply that by two hundred. Two hundred. Time 2,000. 400 grand. Oh, you getting money. Oh, <laughs> oh you getting real money. That's false. 400,000? All right, ma'am. What do you say to not paying her? Well, I had all intentions on paying her, but after all the threatening and so I blocked her. How long baby. after borrowing the money did she threaten you? Um, it wasn't even five days. All right. And when were you to repay it? How many days? Uh, on a Friday. It was... How many days? Three. Three days. And you didn't pay. You were late. Right. I, I guess. <laughs> we meet. You don't know the difference between three days and five days? I mean... $220 but no, I an hour, lady? Yana, you don't know the difference I... between whether you're late. She said, I guess. I said, you were supposed to pay in three days, and she called you at five, so you were late. She... Well, Yana, she I called guess. me the day of. She called me the day of, too. You said day five of. days, ma'am. No, now you're changing me. your story when you saw what you were saying was a conflict. What else is the money for? 530 for the loan. What's the emotional distress because for? Because she kept giving me the run around each day. She was like, oh, it's Saturday. Oh, I can't That's catch my check. That's what you get for loaning people money that yeah. you don't even know. You come in here want some emotional distress. You're going to be distressed a lot if you keep loaning your clients money and they tell you they're going to pay you in the end of the week. I asked her to tell me if she needed more time instead of avoiding me. You have and something she was like, like I that to show me? Yeah. Um, right. I told her just let me know, be honest with me. Okay. From uh, because she gave the impression that you were nasty with her when you first asked oh, for no. your money. Um, I said, okay, from page 17 through 20. But, uh, now, this is starting May 9th. When did the she borrow it? The 7th. She said, I promise you, I swear. It's Sunday, ma'am, and you didn't try to send me the money yesterday, or neither did you contact me. Let me know you couldn't. So I need to know the time today you are sending it. Here you go again at 24 hours later. What's up? I just did a mobile deposit, and as soon as that check comes available, I will cash app you. I know I owe you, but I don't like on people. Never have this is a first but I swear, you don't have to keep texting me and calling me. I know that I owe you. She gonna get nasty with you. <laughs> yeah. I'm nasty with you now. And she owe you money. All right, so tell me how she got nasty with you. You said you don't want to pay her because she got nasty with you. Um, she made posts on Facebook. What date? Um, I can't remember that date. Okay, what po where is the post? It was on Facebook. It's been it months ago. Oh, pardon me? It's been, it was when it was going on. No, I don't. Because okay, I got a new phone. And, oh, you no. didn't know you were going to be sued. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, when you don't pay it, people their money, you're probably going to be sued. <laughs> so any evidence? Uh-huh. Let me take this picture because I ain't paying her and I'm going to be sued. That's what you do. All right? Just a word to the wise. So you have zero evidence to prove your case, huh? Well, I actually have what she was, um talking with my friend, pages one and two, about her. Okay, it's a whole conversation? Yeah. yeah. There's you. Oh, B, that girl is gonna beat your A about her money, but I don't get into nothing. I don't, got, I don't have nothing to do with that. B, who in the day of B beat my A, I had my mammy, whatever, <laughs> Anastasia. Ha, 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 you laugh. So you the friend she said she was talking about, huh? They laughing at you. You a joke now. Nah. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Anything else from you? <laughs> no, sir. $530.
Uh, you shouldn't have loaned her the money in the first place. That's your judgment. You only knew her six months. All right, have a good day. Judgment for the plaintiff. Denisha, I just don't understand. If you a boss and you making all this money, why you can't pay me? Uh, it was the why way you had you, to block me. You didn't it was the way you handle me. things. Like I, you're not gonna I, handle I, me I, any kind I, of way, or like some child and think I'm just gonna. No, it don't work like that. <laughs> Boss though, bosses don't have to be. And is boss. and still will be when I leave. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. But, Enjoy. But you when you're a boss, you carry yourself. I as a will boss. be. But stop stalking my Facebook. That's like I have not no regular. reason. I need evidence. That's not regular. <laughs> and you, you block. my friend. That's strange. You my friend on Facebook. You That's weird. No, I'm it. not. <laughs> you my friend on my I weight loss page. You. Yes. That's weird. Yes. <laughs>